Good morning, the hymn. Good morning. The hymn is 99. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And now and Let us adore the Lord, the King who is to come. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. Let us adore the Lord, the King who is to come. Let us adore the Lord, the King who is to come. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For oh, he is our God. And we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Let us adore the Lord, the King who is to come. Let us adore the Lord, the King who is to come. For forty years I was wearied of these people. And I said, Their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, Never shall they enter my rest. Let us adore the Lord, the King who is to come. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us adore the Lord, the King who is to come. In 99, O oh, comfort my people and calm all their fear and tell them the time of salvation draws near. O oh, tell them I come to remove all their shame and they will forever give praise to my name. Proclaim to the cities of Judah my word that gentle yet strong is the hand of the Lord. I rescue the captives my people defend and bring them to justice and joy without end. All mountains and hills shall become as a plain, for vanished are mourning and hunger and pain. And never again shall this war against you. Behold, I come quickly to make all things new. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From a deceitful and common man, rescue me, O Lord. O send forth your light and your truth. Let these be my guide. Let them bring me to, to your holy mountain to the place where you dwell. Why are you cast down my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Saviour and my God. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Lord, come to our help all the days of our life. I said in the noontide of my days, I must depart. I am consigned to the gates of Sheol for the rest of my years.
My dwelling is plucked up and removed from me like a shepherd's tent. Like a weaver, I have rolled up my life. He cuts me off from the loom. Like a swallow or a crane, I clamour. I moon like, like a dove. My eyes are weary with looking upward. O oh Lord, I am oppressed. Be my security. O oh show cannot thank you. Death cannot praise you. Those who go down to the pit cannot hope for your faithfulness. The Lord will save me, and we will sing to string instruments all the days of our life at the house of the Lord. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, come to our help all the days of our life. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows, you who hear our prayer. Blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. You care for the earth, give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. You crown the year with your goodness. Abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. A reading from the book of Genesis. Judah shall not want a branch from his stem, a prince drawn from his stock, until the day when he comes, who is to be sent to us, he the hope of the nations. The glory of the Lord will shine on you, Jerusalem, like the sun he will rise over you. His glory will appear in your midst. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice and be glad, daughter of Zion. Behold, I am coming to live in your midst, says the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. A saviour would free us from our foes 
from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Rejoice and be glad, daughter of Zion. Behold, I am coming to live in your midst, says the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Take pity on our distress, Lord God. Show us your love. May the coming of your Son strengthen us and cleanse us from all trace of sin. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safely today and throughout our lives. Amen. Let us say the uh, prayer for the gate. Eternal Father, All the apostles to follow him. I ask you to raise up new and generous occasions for the priesthood. Then force the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call. And enable them not to be afraid. To recognize the joy they've given the whole of their lives in love. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See, the Lord is coming, and with him all his saints. Then there will be endless day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning. Once again we gather to be in the Church of Christ. Christ is with us, we promise, present in this assembly of his people in the proclamation of God's word, and in the communion of his body and blood. As we do not have a priest to celebrate Mass today, let us reflect on the word and pray together, and then together share Christ's body and blood, consecrated for us to previous Mass. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins.
I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most guilty fault, through my last first Mary and the Virgin, for it is the same. And you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord of God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, help us to look forward to the glory of the birth of Christ our Saviour. His coming is proclaimed joyfully to the ends of the earth, for he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Console my people, console them, says your God. Speak to the heart of Jerusalem and call to her that her time of service is ended, that her sin is atoned for, that she has received from the hand of the Lord double punishment for all her crimes. A voice cries, Prepare in the wilderness a way for the Lord. Make a straight highway for our God across the desert. Let every valley be filled in, every mountain and hill be laid low. Let every cliff become a plain, and the ridges a valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all mankind shall see it, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice commands cry, and I answered, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and its beauty like the wild flowers. The grass withers, the flower fades, when the breath of the Lord blows on them. The grass is without doubt for people. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God remains forever. Go up on a high mountain, joyful messenger to Zion. Shout with a loud voice, joyful messenger to Jerusalem. Shout without fear. Say to the towns of Judah, Here is your God. Here is the God, the Lord coming with power his arm subduing all things to him. The prize of his victory is with him. His trophies all go before him. He is like a shepherd feeding his flock, gathering lambs in his arms, holding them against his nest, and leading to their rest the mother ewes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here is our God coming with power. Here, Here is our, our God, God coming with power. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day. Here, Here is our God, God coming, coming with power. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Proclaim to the nations God is king. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Here, Here is our God, God coming with power. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he comes. He comes to rule the earth. Here, Here is our God, God coming with power. With justice he will rule the world, he will judge the peoples with his truth. Here there is our God, come in with power. Let us stand for the Gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah, 
The day of the Lord is near. Look, he comes to save us. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Tell me, suppose a man has a hundred sheep and one of them strays. Will he not leave the ninety-nine on the hillside and go in search of the stray? I tell you solemnly, if he finds it, it gives him more joy than do the ninety-nine that will not stray at all. Similarly, it is never the will of your Father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost. The Gospel of the Lord. In both of the readings today, the shepherd invests his whole life in the care and well-being of his sheep. In gathering them, holding them to his breast and leading to their rest the mother hues. The shepherd demonstrates how vital their welfare is to his very existence. As guardian of the flock, the shepherd's sole concern is the health and welfare. He will risk leaving 99 on the hillside and going out in the wilderness to find the one who is lost. In comparing himself to a shepherd, Jesus is saying to each one of us, you are so valuable that I do not want any of you to be lost. How comforting and how different from what we might expect is the shepherd's reaction on finding the one lost sheep. There is no remonstration, only delight, no recrimination, only joy at being reunited and at his sheep being restored to him. As Jesus tells us, it is never the will of, his, of your Father that you should be lost. No matter how far we have strayed or how long we have been away, we are always welcomed and embraced back into God's flock. Jesus leads us back gently in a way that is soaked with tenderness. The Lord holds us against his breast, next to his heart, all the while rejoicing in the return. What a delightful image for us to sit and ponder for a few minutes today. Father, you welcome us back with tenderness and love. You welcome us with joy and seek us out when we are lost. May such love and tenderness enable us to come to you with free and grateful hearts. Amen. Let us pray for the needs of the church and of the world. The response is, Lord, may your kingdom come. Lord, may your kingdom come. It is time for us to wake from our sleep. The day of our salvation is near. Lord, may your kingdom come. Help us to show our repentance by a new way of living. Lord, may your kingdom come. Prepare us for the coming of your word. 
by opening our hearts to receive him. Lord, Lord may your kingdom. kingdom come. Help us to overcome our pride and raise us from the depths of our weakness. Lord, Lord may your kingdom, kingdom come. come. Throw down the walls of hatred between nations. Clear the way for those who work for peace. Lord, Lord may your, your kingdom, kingdom come. come. Merciful God, hear the prayers of your people. Give us what we need to follow faithfully the call of the gospel. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs>
sacrament most holy, O sacrament of all, all praise and all thanksgiving, every moment of mine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, every moment of mine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, every moment of Let us pray. Father, you give us food from heaven. By our sharing in this mystery, teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and to love the things in heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May Almighty God bless us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our service is ended. Let us go in peace. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you, Liz.